GB Modding has done it again, ladies and gentlemen, adding in Park is back. Welcome to your first look and map tour of adding and park map from GB Modding. This was a map that was in Farming Simulator 19 as well, and it is back. And if you remember it then, you are going to remember it now because it is virtually identical, but everything has been brought up to Farming Simulator 22 spec, and it's all very, very recognizable. I love that he's done that, but yet he's somehow made it even better. And I didn't think it could get any even better. He does say, as a newcomer to agriculture in the area, you've got a job with the local BGA. Luckily, has some devices that you can use, but they do come at a price. Can you be successful and work your way to one of the most available farms around you? Or are you going to fall on your face and bust? He doesn't say that. I said that. The choice is yours. <laughs> One of the neat things is everything is just like it is in real life. So you've got the terrain height and field sizes with the corresponding areas in real life, real life PDA, and most of the things only work as uh, like animals and sheds, things like that, if you buy the land. This was a feature that some maps had in Farm Sim 19, but now that is basically the way Farming Simulator works. That is the base game uh, default now. So heads up there. In new farmer mode, you will get the BGA and that's about it. He kind of forces you into a role play scenario in itself. Uh, as you can see, we've got things that are leased. So you got a tractor right here, telehandler, you got a mower, a windrow, a loading wagon, and you've got a bucket. Basically what he wants you to do is mow grass, which you get this filled with the BGA. He wants you to mow that, make silage with it, and then take that silage and dump it into the fermenter, and then that's how you make your money. That's how we want you to do it. You do get an owned vehicle, though. We do get a pickup truck, which is very, very nice to have. And then, naturally, we've got kind of a main area around. But, like I said, if you remember it from Farm Sim 19, you're gonna see it here. And you'll be like, yep. I know where everything is. We do have multiple different farms on this map as well. The first one is Malt House Farm. So here you've got horses and pigs. The area is absolutely gorgeous around it. Oh, I love the UK stuff. I might be one of the only Americans that actually openly likes UK maps more than American stuff. I'm so sorry. They just look so good. If we jump into the PDA, you can see we're up here at the top left-hand corner. We're actually near the shop, which is really nice. Uh, you've got your horse farm right there, you got malt house farm there, the silo, you got a diesel tank, and then you got your little baby piggies right there. And by vehicle workshop, not your shop, that's actually up here. Yeah, right there. Um, this is nice because you also have a huge field, field number 12, and you have field three as part of this farm. Secondly is Brompton Farm. Now here you're going to find chickens and cows, and again, Everything is looking mighty, mighty fine. And actually, this is the closest farm to your BGA, which you start with a new farmer mode. So you're seeing that right there, and you've got all your goodies right here. Let's take a look at it on the PDA. We're going to be kind of just south of center on the map, just south of the BGA, which is dead center. Of course, we have your chickens, and then you have your uh, cattle up there. We also have a diesel tank, a vehicle workshop, a home, and then you have a large greenhouse on here as well. When we select farm, you can see we also have field number 34, but there's a lot more around than just that. One of the most popular farms to have in Farming Simulator 19 version, at least, was Crossfields Dairy. Here you're going to have cows and sheep but it's kind of neat because the farm is super super tight around plenty of places to store stuff and then all the way down at the other end of the cattle pasture you've got your sheep area which is its own little farm by itself which i always thought was really really cool let's take a look at the pda it's going to be down here on the bottom right hand end and you've got a vehicle workshop you have a silo on there which is nice diesel tank you got the cross fields dairy or cows cross it is cross fields and then you have the cross fields dairy home itself and of course up here you've got your sheep farm now if we click on the main farm itself we're going to get filled 27 26 and 25 so you do get plenty of area there plus you can also plow up your uh sheep field and your um 
Yep, this one right here, the cattle farm. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, like I said, this was one of the more... Oh, I lost my place. This was one of the more uh, popular farms on uh, this map. Love that. Just like in Farming Simulator 19 as well, we have a secret sheep pen in the woods right here, kind of. It is almost dead center of the map, just north of the BGA, and it is right here. Now, this was one of my favorite places to do screenshots and stuff. I don't know. There's something about this farm that just kind of leads itself to really good screenshots. Nonetheless, if you just want sheep, well, you've got them, and they're right here, just north of the BGA. Oh, and then we'll take a look at that as well. You can actually buy that separate, just little sliver. There's another one that you'd really need to know about. This kind of caused some confusion in 19 for whatever reason. Uh, but basically, this is cows on the map that move around. Let me ask you a question. Do you hate seeing static cows placed around a map? It, it doesn't make it feel lively. It makes it feel weird, right? Well, GB thought so as well. So what did he do? He created a special cow pen over here at the animal dealer. So it's just for show, you don't have to do anything with it, but if you go down into your animals, you actually have them on your farm. Uh, I think it was about three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cows. So you're good there. Uh, they got more TMR than they could ever want need and the water, they have more water than they could ever want need as well. If you are playing this map and you run out of food and water on these animals right here, shoot me a screenshot i would love to see it but that's exactly what this is it's just an area around where the cattle are where they can make it look good that's why it's there next to last like spot that i wanted to show you guys before we really start digging into the map is the Attingham fishing club now this bad boy or atchum 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 fishing club uh fish this has an hourly income when you buy the land, which is really cool. It's going to be located right here, which makes it nice and easy. Now, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure how much money you're going to be making, but uh, let's say that you only wanted to have the sheep farm and like this, well, you could easily do it. And it does allow itself for a, uh, a kind of a role play setup. Anyway, it's not too much. You can't farm on the land, at least not with all the trees on it. But you know what? It's a fishing club, so that's pretty cool. The last spot that I want to show you is not a farm at all. It's actually the outside of the map because we've got your main area down here. You've got the shop. You've got all the roads and all the waterways and all the areas outside of the map. Oh, yes, you could buy it. And guess what? It's a good deal as well. Zero dollars, baby. It's free 30 uh, or free 99. <laughs> As our good friend Kermit would say. So you own all of that default. You don't want to get rid of it because it allows you to get things like selling points. And speaking of, there is a whole area down here, just like it was in Farming Simulator 19, a whole town area, like custom built, looking fresh, my dude. I love this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, this is where you're going to find some factories and some sell points. Maybe a couple little buy points as well. Little things here and there spread out among everything. So you've got a really nice decoration. You've even got an area where you've got a bunch of homes and things like that as well. Again, all this area is owned. So technically, you could come down here and place a sleeping trigger if you wanted to in front of one of these houses. As long as you didn't own any of the other homes. And, and you could just live there. You could. You could just live at one of these houses and you could easily do that because the road sections connect and, and there's ways to get into most of them. So it's very doable. So there you go. Like I said, it's it's actually kind of nice. A lot of modders are changing things and, and making things different and, and, and you know modifying the maps. And to be honest with you, adding in park didn't really need that. Adding in park was beautiful. And it still is. So I might own everything that we've got, but we can at least take a look and see some of the areas that you could buy. Some big fields as well. I do have precision farming turned on as well. So you're going to see a few little things like that as well. So uh, value, this big old field right here, field 16, it's actually not that bad. Uh, $735,000 for that. $450,000 uh, right there. And then another five hundred. dollars So... These really aren't that expensive. You can make a lot of money in one harvest. I mean, you could easily make a couple hundred grand in a single harvest and then just buy the biggest field on the map. So it's nice. 
but it's built around survival. Remember that. This is kind of built around a survival role play setup where you start with nothing and then you uh, you start to get more and more and more and more and more and then you do really well. And honestly, that's kind of it. We could go through and we could dive in and, and take a peek around and poke around and things like that. I mean, here's your shop. It's a John Deere shop. Super, super cool. You come over here, you can open these little bays up and it allows you to work and do the things that you want to do. And well, used to, you could open that bay. I think maybe you have to do it from the inside. Actually, let's turn that off, walk in here. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So you gotta open this up from the inside. It's another, uh, another dump trigger right there. Cell point. I mean, it's neat. It's so neat, but I mean, it's, it's adding in park, right? Absolutely. If you guys are excited about this, at least when I am releasing this video, it is not out yet. The map is currently with Giants awaiting testing, which is really, really good. Uh, hopefully, we will see this soon. Uh, obviously, I don't see anything wrong with it, but then again, I'm not a map tester either. So, uh, most maps do not pass the first time around, so it'll likely be a little while before we see this, but just a heads up. It is happening, and it is on its way, and it's for all platforms. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I want to thank GB Modding for sending this over to give you guys a first look. And that's all this is, is a first look and a little tour around the map. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some more fun and interesting stuff soon with this. So, keep an eye out on the channel. Also, check the description and pinned comment uh, for a little bit fun so go check out gb modding he's got some fun stuff for you guys otherwise hope you have a good one we'll see you later